What's going on everybody? Today I just wanted to make a quick video because I didn't see anything like it on uh, on YouTube and uh, if I ran into the problem anybody might. Uh, it has to do with my um, center console not staying closed. This guy right here. It would just on the passenger side it started coming up just random. Looks like I got some grease on here and that's actually part of the video today. Um, sometimes the driver side would pop up but you know if you hit it good enough it would stay. Like right now it's completely locked. I'm trying to lift it, it doesn't come up. But the passenger side would just fly right open. Like I'll put my arm on it super normally and then lift it off and boom the thing would just lift right up. So now I'm pulling on it, it's closed. And I wanted to share with you guys the uh, very simple method that I use to get this thing working again. I didn't see a single video to help me out, so I just wanted to uh, let you guys know what you need to do. Very simple thing. Let's get right into it. So here's what's going on. When you push these buttons uh, the bottom one's working so I haven't gotten to that one yet to try to fix it but uh, as far as uh, just the top panel that comes up on this side and up from the other side hopefully you guys can see that Let's see if this is better I guess that's better comes up from this side and from the other side okay so so the culprit here is, let me show you, if you can see here, it's that guy right there. Okay, so let me show you when I push the button, you see it moving right there? Oh, now it got stuck for some reason, let me see. But it closed, okay? So. There's the guy right there. What you want to do is, you want to take your can of uh, WD-40 gel lubricant, at least that's what I use, that uh, says that you only have to do it once a year, and uh, uh, it stays lubricated for, I guess, the entire year. Um, I like that stuff. It hasn't uh, uh, steered me wrong yet, so... Uh, I, um, it's been working for me, bottom line. So there are four of these points. Let me show you this one is right here um, on top of a, sorry, on top of a metal-ish plate. I think it's metal. Let me show you if I can get it from the other side. It's kind of hard to focus here. Uh, where is it? There it is. You see how it's greased up? That guy right there. Push the button for you. I don't know if you can see it. Very. Oh, see it? Moves around a little bit. Um, point is, when I close it, it doesn't come back up. And in the back, let me uh, let me actually hop in the back and show you from there. Okay, here we are in the back. Kind of hard to reach here. Okay, so. Yeah, over here, it's uh, the same as in the front, in the metal piece right there. And on the passenger side, they did it a little bit differently, but same as in the front, that guy right there. So, you see how it's greasy, I need to wipe that better, but, you know, gel lubricant. And here, as you can see, oh, now it's going to do it. Um, give it a little bit of a, at least mine, requires a little bit of force. Not a lot, but, you know, a little bit. And now it's completely locked. It will not come up. So, um, one, I, I want to leave you guys with one quick pro tip. 
uh, that I've discovered after splashing the WD-40 on my dash there uh, by accident. <laughs> Uh, what you want to do is you want to cover the straw from the WD-40 can almost entirely um, wrap it in the paper towel so there's no spray back is that a thing um, so it doesn't splash all over so I did I, I didn't know that when I first did it since like I said there's no fix for this on YouTube and I enjoy my videos. I know there's some write-up somewhere probably. I don't know. I, I actually could not find it. But uh, bottom line is uh, it's not there. So I had to, you know, invent the wheel. Uh, I sprayed it and it gave a little splash on my dash, which I had to wipe off. I just feel like, you know, it's a gel lubricant. It'll just make everything shine, right? Not a big deal. But if I could, I would have avoided that. So what you want to do is cover the straw entirely with a paper towel, or at least as much as you can, which I did on the other three uh, grease points. On the other three points that I had to grease up. And um, no splashback, and uh, everything seems to be working perfectly fine. I hope you guys uh, get something out of this. I wish someone would have made it for me. That's why I'm bringing it to you. Um, good luck with your uh, little hack. Definitely do not take it to Mercedes, or they will want to replace the entire center console uh, to a tune of like 2,500 bucks. If you're not into spending that kind of money, uh, just do what I did. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.